something you don't expect to see. Can't really look at it. And if he warns one more person. I'm Kevin. And I'm Stacy. And we are here in Sedona, Arizona. So Sedona is known for the iconic red rocks. And we're going to uh, we're going to explore this via the Cathedral Rock and Devil's Bridge. So we were a little bit worried because parking can be a problem, but because we're in the off season and it's really cold today and snowed yesterday, we did not have any issues getting a parking spot. But if you come during a busy season, apparently it is horrible to get a parking spot and they even have a shuttle service. Yeah, we got here early too, just to make things even a little better. So if there are other hikes besides the Devil's Bridge and Cathedral Rock that we should definitely make sure we hit while we are in Sedona, we plan on coming back. So comment below and let us know what are some other really cool hikes to go on in Sedona. Sedona is regarded by Native Americans as being sacred. It is considered to be a vortex here in Sedona and a place of healing and rejuvenation. And I'm very interested to kind of get to these areas that are considered the vortex areas to see if you can uh, feel the energy, feel the different stuff. So uh, that's exciting. So folks say there is no place like Sedona. So let's go ahead and check it out. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Something you don't expect to see is actually snow on a cactus. So the first part of this trail, you can actually take your Jeep or your off-road vehicle and, and drive up it. But we're in a rental car. We don't have Thor with us. Yeah. No, and you need to have a decent amount of clearance to be able to do that. There's a couple of, uh, just at the first, first part getting in and out, you definitely need to have some clearance to get over that without tearing up the underneath. Ignore all the things we said about off-roading back here, even though that is what I read. But the, the gate is closed and locked and only tours are coming back here, so that's important. So they, this trail is rated as moderate for most hikers. So I guess because of the, the snow and all the rain from the past few days, the trail is a bit wet. <laughs> which turns the red dirt to red clay and it's kind of slippery so i don't know if it's normally like that if you know the answer to that question comment below and let us know is what is the trail typically like at devil's bridge when it hasn't been raining or maybe that's normal i don't know but it's still it's not a problem Especially not for your $168 focus that you don't want to get there. Just saying. <laughs> now that is a problem and kind of hard for Kevin because it's hard for him to spend money on shoes. And he got a pair of good shoes, some Hi Hoka hikers because his shoes actually could almost see through the bottom of them. The sole was so worn away. So I'm glad he got some better shoes because but they were comfortable shoes that's why they have holes in the bottom i can promise you he would be falling right now and slipping oh yeah if those he had those fun. shoes so so it's really really beautiful here and what is so interesting to me is how different the terrain can look in Arizona in a matter of even 30 minutes. You can be in a completely different looking terrain and different looking mountains, which is super exciting. In Georgia, it's really beautiful, but you pretty much get, I mean, but you're gonna have very similar terrain. This is just very unique. So after we go to uh, Devil's Bridge, we're gonna scale that. Uh, right in behind me. We're gonna just free climb that just to kind of check it out and see what the view is from the top. The cool thing about Devil's Bridge is it's an arch and you can actually walk out on it. And apparently it's one of the most Instagrammed spots, if that's how you say that. Devil's Bridge is Arizona's largest sandstone arch. This is also one of Sedona's most popular hikes. 
we got the burn. You can see it in front of us. Maybe it doesn't show it good enough, but let me assure you, it's an elevation change. Note the heavy breathing. So that was good all the way up to here. And now it's kind of slanted down towards the Devil's Bridge thing there. And uh, yeah, just uh, can't really look at it. And there's snow and ice on it. So it looks a bit sketch, yeah. but we'll get some pictures. Yeah, it looks a bit sketch just where I'm standing even. I feel like I'm slanted down towards it. I'm feeling a repeat of the Grand Canyon. So we gotta go down. Yeah, no, right no, no, no freaking way. Please, there's, please just let's check it. Just park right up here. I'll pull right. back. What's going on with you? Well, I don't know because yesterday I was a lot more brave than I am today. And I've got some weird kind of vertigo sensation going on now today. And like any movement near the edge, whether it's me or somebody else, it doesn't matter. It's like I start feeling dizzy and I'm like, I'm going to throw up. I got to get myself back together. <laughs> I would say that it's a beautiful up here and you should come no matter what time of year, but I wouldn't go out there unless no, it's no. summer. Here's the other thing too. Let's, uh, I'm afraid of heights for myself, but actually it's even worse for other people. Like I can't sit and watch those folks. Uh, one wrong move and it's all angled downward and you're gonna slide down through the hole. It is breathtaking out here. Absolutely beautiful and so peaceful and calm. Was out drinking, looking for the next thing I couldn't really settle down Always on the run, I didn't want to slow down, but baby Alright, so we went to the Devil's Bridge. We didn't get on the Devil's Bridge because Too Kevin right. felt like it was of the devil. Yeah. He's, so the, the devil's bridge is there to claim souls. So now we need to go to the cathedral rock so that we can get some good energy yeah. and get kind of calmed down from the nervousness of the devil's bridge. That's right. Maybe that's what people do is go to devil's bridge and then go to cathedral rock to get some positive vibes. We need to go to cathedral rock, rock and repent. 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 Kevin, I'm trying to be positive. Repent means to turn away. Kevin. You've turned away from Devil's Rock or Devil's Crack or Devil's, what is it? Bridge. Devil's Bridge. And we're going to the cathedral. It's the lifelong it's struggle too between much. good and evil. Too much drama in this one. And if he warns one more person, we're going to have a problem between the two of us. We're supposed to be free, and he's telling everybody to stay off the rock. I'm telling everybody. We're, I told Stacy we're changing our we're changing our handle to be alive. Be alive. We have to make it to Cathedral because we need to put our backs together. We've been arguing a lot. We got super lucky and got the last parking spot here as well. So we got lucky at Devil's Bridge and here, and actually got parking. I think the parking lots are so small that typically that's hard. here at Cathedral Rock and you can see it behind me right back here. Unfortunately, we'll see. There you go. You can see it there, right there. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to climb up to the top before we have to leave. However, this is beautiful here. You know, Sedona is um, a vortex. A vortex is believed to be a special spot on earth and it's healing and 
gives you energy, all of those good things. And the Cathedral Rock is one of those specific spots here in Sedona. The native people believe that Sedona was sacred and they only came here for ceremonies and only the chiefs and medicine men could come here. They also believe that this was the land of the first man and the first woman. In the middle of the Cathedral Rock, you can see the first man and the first woman standing back to back. So as the story goes, they were arguing a lot and they could never agree because she said he didn't help her out in the cave and he said that she nagged all the time. Finally, they appealed to the gods for help. The gods put them back to back together so they would always have their own views and their own voice, but still be together. So if you're here, make sure you get a picture with your significant other back to back. If you have time, this is a beautiful place for a picnic. Not too far off the, the trailhead, there are just plenty of places on the rock where you could put out a blanket and have a fabulous picnic with views that are just unbelievable. I can't even express, it's almost like it's fake. It's so beautiful. We are super excited to take you on these journeys with us. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We really didn't intend on coming to Sedona, but it is a beautiful, beautiful place to come. Great hiking, beautiful sights, completely different than anywhere else that we've been. So I would highly recommend coming and enjoying all that Sedona has to offer. Devil's Bridge is Arizona's largest standstone. <laughs> and I'm saying this loud enough in case anybody's coming so that Stacy feels better. And the Devil's Bridge is also known for a large number of deaths every year. Kev, you're lying. <laughs> we are in the Coconino. Is that how you say that? Yeah. We are Coconino. in the Coconino. Co Coconino. We're so excited to take you on these journeys with us. Don't forget, 